a couple of things. So what, what is what is the implication of low CoQ10? I mean, if you have low CoQ10, I assume that means it would impact the ability of the mitochondria to generate ATP. And so you would have low energy. Is it possible to supplement with CoQ10? I mean, it looks a very big molecule. Is it absorbable? Yeah, uh, CoQ10 is a very big molecule, not easily absorbable. I'll give you a big picture. Let's say you take 100 milligram. There are 200, 300 milligram, but just for simplicity, 100 milligram. If you don't emulsify them and you don't take it with a meal of 100 milligram, it will be lucky if you your body absorb one milligram, one miserable milligram of 100 milligram. If you take it with a meal where there's emulsification or people put them in a soft gel with vegetable oil, with lecithin, with this and other emulsifier, then maybe, maybe you get to three milligram. That is at best 3% absorption. At the end of the day, no matter what you do with CoQ10, even if you say this 100%, 200, 300% uh, uh, absorption, it simply means Three, I have seldom ever seen four milligram absorbed out of a hundred milligram. So 4% is the best you can. So that is the CoQ10P and it's not going to change because CoQ10 is a large molecule. I, I believe the context you asked me <clears throat> is this. I will give you the, the real molecular context. I, I show you the picture before. CoQ10 is about this long. Mm -hmm. And the molecular weight is kind of like the weight of a person you're on the way. The molecular weight of CoQ10 is 865, more or less. Mm -hmm. The molecular weight, 865, good to write, jot this thing down. The molecular weight of GG is 290, 290. So if you put 290 multiplied by 3, roughly speaking, you get the molecular weight of CoQ10. So, GG is about three times smaller than CoQ10. So, one of the uh, 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 rationale of taking GG is that it absorbs much better because it's smaller and allow, you actually allow the human body to make its own CoQ10. That's very different from supplementing CoQ10. If you supplement CoQ10, first, it barely absorbs. And when it's absorbed, it's mostly in the blood. But when you take GG, it absorbs, goes to the blood, goes to the organ, goes to the cell, go inside the cell in the mitochondria, makes the CoQ10. And then you know something, we've done study, it comes out of the cell, out of the organ, into the blood. And we saw that the CoQ10 increase in the blood. In, pay, in subjects, we gave GG and we never supplement them with CoQ10. We saw the CoQ10 increase. That means, that is to tell you that when we supplement GG, the CoQ10 in the blood increased by 20%. It may seem trivial. Oh, 20%, Dr. Ten, that's a nothing. Because if you take CoQ10, they, they may increase in the blood 100%. You see, then to the 20% is five times lower. It's no big deal. No. It is, yes, big deal, because I supplement GG. The CoQ10 increased 20%. So what does that mean? So if the audience take GG, you can actually tease your body to see how capable is your body to use its machinery to make CoQ10. And if it does make it, believe me, it works this way. You take GG, goes into your blood. When it goes into your blood, it's not CoQ10. It's a GG. It's a different molecule, three times smaller. And then in the, in the blood, it goes into the organ, into the cell of the organ, into the mitochondria of the organ, makes a CoQ10, and then any extra come out of the cell, come out of the organ, gets into the blood, then the 20% increase. So if you see you got 20% increase, then you and I rest a little bit assured our body is working just fine <laughs> because <laughs> if it's not then you then means that the machinery is unable to make it is that possible that the machinery is unable to make it yes and that one is not because of coq10 
or GG is unable to make because the synthesis of CoQ10 have many enzymatic components. And sometimes if you lack that, then it's a genetic disorder. You can Google, there are, a lot, there are people with, uh, like fibromyalgia. That's one condition that people have persistent ability to have energy. And then when they track it, they are having a condition called mitochondrial dysfunction. So there's a whole cluster of diseases called that. And in that cluster is probably a dysfunction or inability to make adequate CoQ10. So if GG can help, that's good. If not a, a CoQ10, that's why I promote a product which is a combination of ubiquinol and GG because I don't know what people are missing out. If they have all their apparatus and not having enough GG, then GG would be just fine. But if it is a CoQ10 thing, then CoQ10 may be fine. So if I give them both, at least they are on the same pathway. I would say people who are taking statin is hands down they should consider taking ubiquinol and GG together. And if they take CoQ10, the CoQ10 will rise up. But it is well known, people who take statin drug, if they take CoQ10, the CoQ10 increase, but that does not reverse, listen carefully, it does not necessarily reverse myopathy. That means that the statin, the lower cholesterol, if you take CoQ10, the CoQ10 increase, the myopathy is not reversed or inhibited. The myopathy can only be inhibited by GG. We are now doing a clinical study in Texas where people are on statin drug, has myopathy, and one group take placebo, and one group take uh, uh, 150 milligram GG and another group take 300 milligram GG because the study is blind that we don't know. So if the audience is listening to me mm -hmm. so that you know I put where my uh, where it is worth, I'm, do, I'm challenging myself to do a study to prove if this is true or not. And I have no parts in it. It, it blinded in the first place and the professor is doing the work. Oh, the study will probably complete by the end of this year. So if you give me an interview, maybe a year today, then we'll probably know uh, what the status is. But at least my intention to want to do this suggests that I'm serious about uh, trying to find a way to remediate uh, to inhibit the possibility of muscle symptom, SAMS, SAMS, uh, for those that take statin. So. Okay, just w one quick question. Do we think the, the muscle symptoms, I mean, because you, you said that GG is uh, used in, in kind of the protein folding, the, the muscle protein synthesis, but also you would think that low CoQ10 would give you muscle problems as well because you you don't have enough energy because you can't because your mitochondria are not functioning uh are they do they combine to give you this myopathy or is it mostly the muscle protein synthesis or do we know i i would say that if it's specifically in the heart muscle the heart probably have the highest amount of mitochondria and hence coq10 and that condition is called cardiomyopathy very specific it is the is this a muscle of the heart problem? Then in that case, any deficiency is pointedly pointing at CoQ10. But if it is other parts of the human body, some muscle and some not, and for the audience perspective, it's very simplistic. I try to help the audience to know sometimes they're highly educated, sometimes they just want the simple language, but I like to touch on both. So uh, don't be offended if I say something too sp uh, simplistic, you know, I like to uh, reach out to people who may not necessarily have the sign. Any part of your organs that are dark color, but they're not necessarily considered muscular. Muscular would be heart muscle, kidney muscle, dark. Remember mm. dark muscle like that. But the liver is dark also. But we don't think of the liver as a muscle. See mm. that? See like that? So, and lung is also dark, but we don't think of it as a muscle like that. So any dark organs will probably have a lot of cholesterol, will probably have a lot of CoQ10, will probably have a lot uh, of 
uh, uh, MK4, they go hand in hand because they're part of the mevalonic acid mm -hmm. pathway. So when you have that, then you need, you probably have a lot of mitochondria for which that is. So therefore, GG and CoQ10, they cover similar path, except that where CoQ10 stop, GG continues, like in the lung and in the liver. However, in the heart and in the kidney, they have a lot of CoQ10. So in that case there, then CoQ10 and GG may be related. But when it is not in muscular tissue, GG will go further on. Uh, and then uh, CoQ10 did not attract uh, where GG goes. So GG will go further. Uh, yet another organ that people don't mention about, the spleen and the pancreas. GG is desperately needed there. So, so in other words, where CoQ10 stops, GG goes further.